So in today's video, I'll be unboxing and setting up an HP DeskJet 2800 series printer. And that includes the extremely popular 2855 and the 2852, which I have here. And all the 2800 series printers are pretty much identical. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video. So feel free to check that out. So I've opened up the box and the first thing you'll see is the setup guide. Hopefully we won't need this. And then you have the black and tricolor cartridges, a little bit more paperwork, and last but not least, the power cord. And you should also remove this piece of cardboard that's sitting on top. And then I'm going to lay the printer's box on its side on a flat table or surface, and this makes it very easy to pull the printer out. And then I'm going to grab the printer itself and pull it out of the box. And once you slide the printer out of the box, you'll notice that there is some more documentation. And I'm going to remove the cardboard end caps and the plastic wrap around the printer and once I'm done with that let's remove the remaining stickers and protective packaging material. So I'm just going to peel off this HP Instant Ink sticker. I don't need their advertising on there. And next I'm going to peel back this piece of protective tape and then peel it all the way down and then open up this compartment and then keep peeling that piece of tape which goes all the way in to the inner compartment and that'll open up the inner compartment and you want to slowly peel that piece of tape off that compartment door and then once that door is open you've got a piece of cardboard that's all the way inside that's connected to this piece of tape and all you're going to do is tug on that and then gently pull that piece of cardboard out and that comes out and that is connected to that piece of tape and you can get rid of this. And let's close those two compartments back up. Close the first one and let's temporarily also close the outer one. I'm going to open the flatbed scanner and here you'll notice a thin piece of film covering the flatbed scanner. We're going to gently peel that off. And there's another one on the right hand side. Let's peel that off. And there is one more piece of blue packing tape that we need to remove. And to do this, I've actually placed the printer nose down on the table so that I can access the bottom of the printer. And I'm going to go in and grab this piece of blue tape and gently peel it off. And next, I'm going to plug in the provided power cord. And I'm going to plug the power cord into the jack in the back of the printer. And let's plug the other end into an electrical outlet. And next, I'm going to turn the printer on by pressing the power button and wait for it to boot up and once it's done booting up you'll notice that the printer's Wi-Fi light is blinking and this is a good sign and the next step is to prep your cartridges for installation and to do that we're going to remove the outer plastic packaging and do the same thing for the other cartridge as well and then when I'm done with that I'm going to remove this protective film from the electronic contacts on the cartridge so peel this tape off and you want to do that for both cartridges and now your cartridges are ready for installation. And to start installing the cartridges, I'm going to open this front compartment and then open the inner compartment. And once you do that, you'll notice that the cartridge tray slides into view. And you'll notice that the cartridge tray is largely unmarked as to which cartridge goes where. But luckily, there is a sticker on the bottom of that compartment door that tells you that the tricolor cartridge goes on the left and the black cartridge goes on the right. And I'm going to insert the tricolor cartridge first with the electrical contacts facing inward. And I'm going to push the cartridge into the tray and push it all the way in till I hear that lock and let's do the same exact thing for the black cartridge electrical contacts facing inward push it gently into the tray and then when you get to the end of the tray push it in more forcefully till you hear that lock and then I'm going to close the inner compartment door and then close the outer compartment door and once the cartridges are installed, you'll notice that the tiny little screen on the printer displays the tricolor and black cartridge level, and that tells you that they've been successfully installed. So while we're at it, let's load some paper into the paper tray. So to do that, I'm going to pull up on this panel here and lean it backwards. And then if you look inside here, you have the paper guide, and I'm going to slide the paper guide all the way to the left. And then I'm going to hold this panel open and insert paper 
into the paper tray. And for one last step, I'm going to push the paper guide inwards to keep the paper aligned. And the rest of the setup for this printer needs to be done either on a smartphone or a computer. So when setting up this printer, I found that the easiest way to get the Windows and Mac setup done is to ensure that you've done your setup on your smartphone first and got the printer actually connected to the Wi-Fi network. Otherwise, connecting it to a Windows computer or a Mac becomes an extremely frustrating process. So I highly recommend doing the smartphone setup before you do set up on a computer. And the process is pretty much identical whether you're using an iPhone or an Android phone. And the first step to doing this is to go to the App Store if you're on an iPhone or the Play Store if you're using an Android device. And then you want to search for HP smart and you'll notice that the first app that comes up in the search results is the hp smart app tap get to begin installing that app and once that installs tap open and once that app opens up it asks you to accept several terms and conditions tap accept all and then it asks you whether you'd like to allow the app to track you this is entirely up to you i'm not a big fan of this so i'm just going to tap continue and then when it says allow hp smart to track your activity across other companies apps and websites i'm going to say ask app not to track and on the next page it asks you whether you'd like to set up a new printer or sign in i'm going to tap skip for now and on the next page it asks you whether you'd like to allow hp smart to find devices on your local networks i'm going to tap allow and then i'm going to tap add your first printer tap on that and then i'm going to tap new printer and wait for it to find our printer and then it wants to know how you'd like to connect to this printer tap wi-fi tap continue then hit continue again and then tap allow and as you can see it has found our printer which is the hp deskjet 2800 series tap on that and then it asks you which wi-fi network you'd like the printer to connect to i'm going to select mine which is vortex and then it wants you to enter the password for that wi-fi network that is your home wi-fi network tap continue and then it wants you to press the flashing i button or information button on the printer let's do that and as soon as we do that it continues with the setup process and then a small dialog box pops up that asks you whether you'd like hp smart to join the vortex network which is my home wi-fi network tap join and then it continues with the setup process and then it says that the printer is now connected to my home wi-fi network tap continue and then it wants you to accept more terms and conditions i'm going to tap accept all and then it asks me whether i'd like to activate hp plus for smart printing capabilities now this is entirely up to you but in my case i'm not going to do that i'm going to tap do not activate hp plus and again it asks you whether you'd like to decline hp plus i'm going to tap decline hp plus and then it gives you a warning that this printer is designed to work exclusively with hp original cartridges tap continue and then it asks you to create an hp account or sign into one if you already have one and this allows you to to register the device and i highly recommend doing this in my case i already have an account so i'm going to sign into that tap sign in and it says that it is registering my printer and on the next page it lets me know that my new printer includes two free months of automatic ink delivery in my case i'm not going to enable this this is entirely up to you this is their ink subscription service i'm going to tap do not enable ink delivery and then it asks me if i'm sure that i don't want to try this again i'm going to tap Tap skip offer and on the next page it asks you whether you'd like future firmware updates automatically installed or whether you'd like to be notified when they're available and i'm going to tap auto update and i highly recommend doing this tap save and then it lets you know that you're ready to print a test page let's tap print to print the test page and it moves on to the next screen which lets us know that it can send us a link to download software for other devices i'm going to tap 
skip sending link. Then it asks me, am I sure? And I'm going to say yes. And there you go. It brings me back to the home screen of the app. And there you can see that the HP DeskJet 2800 series now appears on top of that screen. And there's a little green check mark right underneath that. And that lets you know that the printer is now installed and ready to use. And this is pretty much all the setup that you need to do from a smartphone. Once you're done with the smartphone setup, and once your printer is connected to your home Wi-Fi network, you can then proceed to do your Windows setup. And that's what we're going to do now. And the first thing you want to do is go into your Windows search bar and search for store. And one of the things that will come up first is the Microsoft Store. Click on that. And once that opens up in the search bar on top, type in HP Smart. And in the search results, the first search result that comes up is the app that we want. Click get to begin installing that. And once it's done installing that, click open. And on the first page of the app, it asks you to agree to some terms and conditions. I'm going to click accept all. And on the next screen, it has three options. Set up a new printer, sign in or skip for now. I'm going to click skip for now so I can get to the home page of the app. And then what I want to do is click click on add printer when I'm on the home page of the app. So let's click the add printer button and it searches for all the printers on your network. And as you can see, because we completed the smartphone setup first, it very quickly located our printer, which is the DeskJet 2800 series. Click on that. And it now says that it is getting print driver information. And then it says that the print driver has been successfully installed. Click continue. There you go. It brings us back to the home page of the app. But this time around, you can see that the HP DeskJet 2800E appears all the way up top. And most importantly, you'll see that green check mark right underneath the printer, which lets you know that the printer has now been successfully installed and is ready to use. That's pretty much all the Windows setup that you need to do to get this up and running. Hope this video has been useful. If it has, please hit that big thumbs up and please also consider subscribing to my channel for more reviews, unboxings and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.